Hey, tell, tell, count this much. tell them what's going on, Jim. Hey, you know what's so crazy, though? Motherfucker be sitting up there doing all this. Sneak this and internet games and all this. Up some money. Do something. Like, <laughs> we winning, bro. I can do it. whatever it is I want to do, I can do it. Buy what I want, do what I want. Y'all can't do that, bro. Goof bro, ass. bro got out what? You know that we did. Haven't you did all? In the year I did it now? Yeah. It's your last bit. Twelve? Twelve. That boy popped out twelve years. Twelve years. So much money. So much money. Really just getting that in order to just figure out the lanes, man, man, boy. Feel so good, man. Two lawyers, man. I can tell them about the building, you got? Everything. Man, it's closed on the building, man. We ain't fing around. You know that we did it. <laughs> <laughs> So we've been hearing a lot of things that's been going on when it comes to Little Dirk and the OTF crew. We saw the unaliving on video of, of King Von. We saw Chief Keith come out and blow and take the, the uh, America by storm with that drill scene. And when things got hot, he got up out of there. He disappeared. You know, he went in and became a gamer and started doing certain things. And Little Dirk, you know... When FBG Duck was unalive, he made a song called You Should Have Ducked. And he was dissing the, the people that was unalived. And he was just adding flame to, you know, adding fuel to the fire. And when people would warn him and tell him, yo, it's time to stand down, it's time to chill, he wouldn't. So now we you know, so now we get the situation with this dude, OTF Jam, who's supposed to did up 12 years and was one of his childhood friends. And now we're hearing that allegedly he wore a wire. And I tell you young people all the time. See, y'all think that fat meat, fat meat ain't greasy. And I, I would tell my son the same thing. I've known, I've known homies who've unalived their best friends, help, uh, uh, help the police and the family look for the body, go to the funeral, sit next to the bomb, knowing that, knowing that they the ones that did it. And it gets real crazy. But now I'm hearing that while he was in jail, um, his child, because he's supposed to allegedly court another case, his, his son's mother was unalived. And he's upset because OTF didn't ride. Check this out. Tonight, a young woman is dead after a shooting in the southwest suburbs. Her body found early this morning in a car in Orland Park, not far from Andrew High School. Arnie Rogers spoke with relatives and neighbors tonight and joins us now live. Nate. That's right, Scott, and Don, this is truly heartbreaking for this family. In fact, the family telling me tonight they have more questions than answers, and they say they are more than 100% sure that their loved one was not the intended target. We've learned that she lives and works in Chicago, and according, again, to relatives, they say she knows nothing about this area here in the south suburbs where she was found killed text somebody yesterday and I told him that's my baby, that's my sweetheart, that's how we all going to remember her. Michelle A. Williams, a postal worker and mother of three young sons, dead at 28 years old. Her aunt, who practically raised her, is heartbroken. This is not something that's just finna get brushed under the rug and not be solved. Mm -hmm. They need to find out what happened to my niece. So many gunshots were fired. Take a look at the crime scene. Evidence markers covering nearly 30 bullet casings. It happened Wednesday around midnight at the Orland Ridge townhomes along Red Bud Lane. Police found the vehicle with the headlights still on, the driver and passenger doors open. Williams' body lying on the ground. Family members tell Fox 32 the young mother was a passenger inside the car along with some friends, including another female poster worker and two men. When was the last time that y'all heard from her? My family talked to her. She talked to somebody in the family every single day. Mm -hmm. So we don't know who she was with. That's what we're trying to find out. Police went door to door talking to neighbors and scanning surveillance footage for leads. Authorities have not yet released a motive. Precious ain't did nothing to nobody and she didn't deserve this. She not a street person so this needs to get solved. As loved ones continue to grieve the sudden death, what hurts most? William's nine-year-old, four-year-old, and eight-month-old sons never to see their mother again. 
And tonight we do know that that killer remains at large. Police have not said if the victim was in fact the intended target. Also, we've not been told whether someone else in the vehicle was injured or not. We do know that the South Suburban Major Crimes Task Force, along with Orland Park Police, are investigating. In Orland Park, I'm Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago. So the mother of his son was allegedly um, unalive by the ops, and he was feeling some type of way because he felt like that his crew was supposed to make that move and move out. So now we're getting to a point where it says, we reviewed an eight-page indictment, which is not specific to Dirk, but rather an attempt shooting of uh, Rondo in general. He's referred to as co-conspirator one. Dirk is linked to the plot because OTF credit cards were used to book flights, hotels, and cars and buy specific supplies for the shooting. Additionally, the indictment references text messages and traffic camera surveillance from the day of the, the uh, shooting. I told y'all they got everything on camera. What other OTF members were charged? The indictment names five suspects, and the sixth one remains anonymous. Keith Jones, David Lindsay, and the unnamed suspects uh, were alleged, was al allegedly the shooters. Uh, Asa Houston was the driver. Keon Grant and DeAndre Wilson handled the logistics and the payment of the shooting. Grant, Houston, and Wilson were OTF members, but Jones and Lindsay, the shooters, were members of, of other Chicago gangs. All five of the known suspects were arrested in Chicago on the same conspiracy to commit uh, unaliving for hire. Uh, char uh, uh, charges as dirt. Um, the, OT the OTF members snitch on Little Dirt. Rumors are circulating that OTF member uh, named Jam allegedly wore a wire and cooperated with, author co cooperated with authorities to gather evidence on the Rondo shooting. Jam was released from prison uh, in 2012 after serving 12 years for attempted unaliving. There is no denying Jam's connection to Dirk and OTF. Dirk even referenced him in the, in the lyrics, uh, Jammer, get out, of the, get out of that jam. I, I give him 50 and uh, ain't got to ask again. Uh, from Kings Vaughn uh, back again. However, nothing in the, in the indictment mentions Jam as an informant and no other uh, court documents support that rumor of, um, that, you know, basically saying he snitched. Right, this thing gets real crazy. It gets real crazy. Was Little Dirk attempting to flee the country after five OTF members were arrested uh, Thursday, October 24th, 24th uh, in the morning? Dirk allegedly flew from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, uh, Florida and booked two flights, one to Dubai and one to Switzerland. He didn't get on either, uh, on either and booked the third flight uh, in a private plane jet to Italy, but was arrested before he can abort it. He is currently being held along with the other defendants pending their transfer to L.A. since that's where the unaliving occurred. Man, this thing gets, I told y'all, this thing gets real goofy. But let's look at OT, OTF Jam when they said he was allegedly supposed to be wearing the wire. Let's look at him um, in, this, in this interview. Check this out. Hell yeah, because uh, shit, you just came home uh, not too long ago, like when you come home. I sat home a little bit over a year. Yeah, okay. A little bit over a year. Yeah, yeah. 12 years flat. 12 years. Like 12 years. Did my time. Ain't told on nobody. Right. Ain't no fool shit on my name. Now I'm back. <laughs> I'm living life I never thought I'd live. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah but like, if you can't talk about it, like, uh, why did you have to sit down for 12? I went to jail for a temp. Okay. A temp murder. It was more than that, but shit, that's what I did my time for. Okay. A temp. You know, street shit. Yeah. But shit, like, like, how did you even get linked in with uh, just OTF, period? Man, yeah, shit. You did OTF. I did OTF. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this ain't no people I met. Nah, I knew them. Like I'm saying, this was before jail. I don't know. Dirk was rapping. And he had that. He came out that loud yeah, one. Yeah. lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, like back oh, then, yeah. like before y'all, y'all never even heard of that. Like we this was shit in our parties, like personal yeah. shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's bro. Yeah. I'm saying, yeah. my whole time in jail, that stayed, bro. Like, before the money, you know what I'm saying? That was bro. Like, I remember when the money wasn't there, for some to say you 50, I'm, yeah. I got yeah. you. Yeah. I still doing that gave shit. my lawyer money and everything when I'm fighting my case. I ain't gonna lie, Dirk come through. Dirk come through. That's sure. I don't give a fuck. Nobody say like, 
sure. I know I'm the real witness. Like a lot of niggas can't say anything. Mm -hmm. Back in my life, my whole time in jail, I was straight. That's what's up? What's up? Like he was one of the main main motherfuckers that held you down your whole bit. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the guys did, but hell yeah, he was. I hood like that shit. though. Yeah. I hood like that. No, yeah, yeah. Right Everybody yeah. get taken care of. Everybody get taken care of. Sure. Um, no, 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 gang shit, none of that shit. It's just like some family shit. Right. My brother locked up. Yeah. We always came together and made sure you guys were straight, right? Yeah. Shit, yeah, this before. Before he was, I was going rich. to the home and all that type of shit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> But let's not get it twisted because there's been a lot of unaliving on both sides with the BDs and the GDs. And the situation, what happened at the Gold Coast with FBG Duck, um, not too long after that, maybe a year after that, uh, Little Dirk's brother D Thing was also unalived in Harvey, right? And we remember, we remember that. So we know that there's been a lot of going back and forth and just unaliving each other on multiple scales. And then it's been people that maybe doesn't, that, that didn't have a big name that was also unaliving that's not going to be talked about on both sides that just happened in the streets of Chicago. But let's look at this with D-Thing. Check this out. Now at 6, the brother of local rapper Lil Durk is dead after shooting at a club in Harvey this weekend. A police officer also injured. Multiple shots were fired and lots of weapons were found at the scene. Dante Banks was killed when he was shot in the head. Banks is the older brother of locally known rapper Lil Durk. The 32-year-old th is also a rapper who performed as D-Thang. Shortly before Banks was shot, about 500 feet away, police say Officer E. Muhammad heard gunshots and saw someone with a gun at the club. There was some sort of altercation, and the officer was shot in the thigh. So now with snitches, as this thing gets uncovered, and I told you guys in the streets, now now everybody's grasping for straws and trying to save themselves. It's going to be more stuff come out that we didn't even know. Like I said, it's going to be a lot of um, un un um, truths come out and uh, findings come out to unalivings that's happened in Chicago in the last five and six years that we didn't even know about. You're going to start seeing people tell all kinds of stuff now because everybody's trying to save themselves. So he felt, they're saying allegedly, if he's the, if he's the snitch, he felt some type of way because his, his child's mind was unalive and nobody rolled, right? But then D-Thing was also unalive and now you got this murder for hire, alleged murder for hire plot. You think that he didn't try to get his brother, uh, the, um, his brother avenged either? So it's going to be a whole lot of stuff that come out behind this. And I keep telling you guys that the streets is a myth, man. All that kind of stuff, like you, you don't make it out like that when you live in this type of lifestyle. A lot of you drill scene rappers, if you look around, a lot of drill rappers are decimated and murdered all over from Philadelphia to California, from uh, Atlanta, to, to, up through Houston, up through Chicago, and to New York. These guys have been murdered. A lot of them are locked up. They're locking up these gangs in droves across the country. Change the style of rap. Get out of that stuff, man. Do what Chief Keith did. Get out, because it's not the way. This era of rap in the next 10 years, nobody's going to talk about it. It's expendable music. And a lot of you young boys, black bodies have become expendable when it comes to this type of music. Nothing in the history of the hip-hop or rap game have we ever seen this many unalivings and people being arrested associated with so-called hip-hop. Get out of it. This ain't the way. This ain't the way. This ain't the move. And I hope that these situations are going on now because they're not finished. They still got more to come. Uh, what's going on in Memphis? It's going. Listen, it's going to be a big thing going on in Memphis next. They coming for everybody. They coming for everybody, and we already told you guys. So get out of it. This ain't. This ain't it, man. You guys. You you. <laughs> you guys talk. Uh, kill each other in the street, but when you get to the feds, you gonna have to be unified against these other groups, against the Aryan groups, against the Mexicans, and all these people that's coming against you. The people that you was warned, warned against and getting life sentences for going to become your brother when you get in the feds. There's a lot of things that y'all don't know that y'all not ready for when you get behind that wall. So why unify there when you can just unify here in the streets and don't be locked up? Don't be away from your children. Listen to the big homie, the OG, man. I'm going to cut this video short right here. If you made it this far in the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to Street Media TV. Leave your comments in the comment section. Remember, I love y'all. Till next time, peace.